Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to the channel. Today you have found me here outside of JFK's Terminal 4 getting ready to catch Emirates flight EK204 all the way to Dubai. Well, I always make economy class videos, but this will be different. So as it turns out, I have accumulated points from my travels around the world. So, I put those points towards Emirates Business Class, and here we are. Well, let's get to the point of the video, the review. Check-in was a breeze. There was no line, the people there were really nice, and I'm now headed towards the lounge. Well, security first, then the lounge, but you know what I mean. After clearing security, it was finally time to go to the lounge but not before checking if I could see my A380 pull into the gate. Certainly enough, I could see it. After seeing my A380 pull into the gate, it is now time to go to the business and first class lounge. Never would I have ever imagined that I would be walking through these doors in real life. This is awesome. Well, of course, this lounge comes fully stocked with a buffet. Wine, soft drinks, beer, coffee, whatever you want, you name it, it's here. There are many food options here, which range from Western to International to Middle Eastern to Indian. It's amazing. There is also a wide pastry selection you can choose from. And, of course, all the utensils needed for eating. Let's check out the bathroom. It is extremely clean and modern, with towels on offer, of course, so you can dry your hands, and what looks to me as some premium soaps and lotion. Overall, though, it's really flippin' clean. Oh. Have I mentioned that there is free Wi-Fi that works really well? It is boarding time now. I've had a really great time at this lounge and I really love it. It is super exclusive, really small, but not small to the fact that it's uncomfortably small. And it also has extremely delicious food. Welcome aboard Emirates A380 Business Class. My seat for today is going to be 18K and oh my goodness gracious goodness me, am I so excited to be here. Let's take a look at my seat today on the flight to Dubai. To the left of me, I have this super cool but very unnecessary tablet. It could separately do anything the big IFE screen can do and though it is detachable, it is locked for takeoff and landing. Just behind that is your in-seat minibar. It features a glass cup, two bottles of Evian water, a Pepsi, 7-Up, and a bottle of Perrier. Just behind the left side of your head is this area. It features the reading light, the HDMI port, the USB port, the headphone jack, and the universal charging port. Below that, you will find the remote control. Yes, there are three screens in this one seat. To your left, on the side of the console, are your seat controls. Of course, we cannot forget about that massive 23-inch IFE system I have in front of me. 
on the bottom of the window, there are the window controls. By hitting the upward zero, the curtains that have come down will go up, and by hitting the downward zero, the curtains will come down. There's an initial blind, and then a blackout. That is flipping cool. To finally finish off the seat tour are these bins. Once everything is emptied out, it is a great space to store your belongings. But I can never seem to close them. Bah, I'll just deal with this later. The cabin crew then came around to give us welcome drinks where I opted for the orange juice. We'll take a look at the amenity kit later on. Here is the menu for today's flight. It is very extensive, but I can't say that I am surprised. The safety video soon screened and we were on our way to Dubai. After takeoff, we received some hot towels, which smelled absolutely amazing. I have a lot to show you guys. So, let's start it off with the headphones. So, these headphones were very, very HQ. They were noise cancelling and they were super comfortable. Honestly, the entire time that I had these on my ears, it felt like there was a cloud on them. They also look super cool, which is a bonus. Of course, we got the menu, but I already showed you that. If you want to see it again, go back to minute 548. So, since I'm a kid, I was also able to get this cool kids travel pack sort of thing. It included a backpack, a coloring book, and a plush toy. Let's look at the amenity kit. It is made by Italian brand Bulgari. I think that's how you say it. Bulgari. Uh, I said that terribly wrong. Anyway, this is what is inside the amenity kit. Shaving cream, a bunch of Bulgari products, some deodorant, tissues, a razor, a dental kit, a hair comb, and some tissues. Very, very nice. In my opinion, the coolest thing about the ICE Entertainment System is that you can call your seatmates. It is pretty loud, but is still flipping cool. Well, I do have a rather stupid complaint about the ICE Entertainment System. There are just too many things to watch. I was sitting there for a good 45 minutes trying to decide what I would watch until I finally decided. Anyway, lunch will be served in around 15 minutes. But before lunch, I got these nuts and a virgin mojito. These things are delicious, by the way. Well, here is the bathroom. It is super nice, of course. Mahogany is all over it, even on the toilet seat. And look, there's a window. Airsick bags were also on offer as well as this platform. Pull the latch, bring it down, and there you have it. 
Don't know what you would use this for, but do what you will with this information. Of course, there is Facial Mist by Bulgarian here, which I may or may not have sprayed in my eyes. Wait, am I even using this correctly? Lunch is now served. I went for the Arabic Meze for my appetizer and goodness gracious, this looks delicious. Meze appetizer was absolutely delicious. The main course is now coming where I opted for the lamb chops. Well, that was faster than expected. I'm not complaining though. I just got my main course and just like the appetizer, it looks incredible. Wow, I'm surprised. Usually when I get meat of some sort on a plane, it turns out ooey gooey and chewy. This was the perfect medium rare. Great job, Emirates. Great job. Anyway, for dessert, I opted for the hazelnut tart. And finally, to accompany the hazelnut tart was this box of chocolates. It was delicious, just like everything else, and with that, the lunch service is over. Don't worry though, we have a lot more to go over. It is now time to go explore the Onboard Bar and Lounge. Welcome to the Onboard Bar and Lounge. So there are actually two types of these bars. There is a new and better one, which is the one I'm standing in right now, and the old one, which you can see on my next Emirates Business Class video. Let's just say this one is far better. In the back of the bar, under that massive TV screen you just saw, is a basket full of snacks. A bunch of different types of sandwiches are also on offer, which is super cool. The layout of the new bar is as shown. Comfy chairs and a table there, the bar, and of course another set of comfy chairs and a table. I decided to take full advantage of this bar and I ordered myself a mocktail. Specifically an apple spritzer though. And I would be a fool to not get jelly beans to match with my apple spritzer, right? By the way, the apple spritzer is amazing. I ended up staying at the bar and lounge for 45 minutes, and as the sun started to set, I returned back to my seat. Many hours later. I arrived somewhere over Saudi Arabia with about three hours left of flight time.
So the light bite service is just about to begin, which is basically a food service of a bunch of small plates. The thing is, I'm not that hungry. But the other thing is, I'm making an Emirates for view where you should know every aspect of this flight. Do I get the light bites or do I not? Nah, I'll just have some food at breakfast. Sorry, guys. One thing that I will do, though, is go back to the onboard bar and lounge before breakfast. It's great to be back here, even though the last time I was here was like six hours ago. While I was here, I made sure to order one more drink. I did eventually have to go back to my seat, as I didn't want to miss breakfast. Another cool thing that you can get on Emirates is a Polaroid picture taken of you. It didn't turn out that well. What is that? But um, it's a pretty cool thing that you could do aboard a plane. After ordering my breakfast and receiving a hot towel, I settled in and watched the darkness pass by. Breakfast is now served. I went for the French toast with strawberry compote and vanilla sauce, as well as a bowl of fruit, a croissant, and a soon-to-come Cinnabon. That breakfast was absolutely outstanding. We are inching ourselves closer and closer to Dubai, and as of now, we only have an hour and a half remaining. being screened, the cabin lights are on, and I'm ready to land in Dubai. Welcome to Dubai. The local time is 7.43 in the morning, 7 minutes early from our scheduled arrival. I hope you guys liked the video, and if you did, leave a like and subscribe. And if you have any questions or comments about the MRS experience, don't hesitate to comment down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.